Hey, what's going on today? Hutchins here. So I'm going to be bringing you the last final video of the Champion Scroll Guides. It'll be episode 4, and I'm just going to be going over the Goblin. I actually forgot about uh, the Goblin, and I didn't put it into the fourth video, but I figured this will be a good opportunity because a lot of people that just want one Champion Scroll for uh, the music cape or whatever will be able to just go to this one quick video about Goblins, and, and that'll be that because this is the fastest Champion Scroll to get. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start the guide. So basically, you're just going to want the basic range setup. Obviously, you guys will probably know most of the substitutions for this. Uh, if you don't have any of this gear, uh, just downgrade and do with it the best you can, really. As far as the inventory goes, you're just going to bring cannonballs, a cannon, bone crusher if you have it, a teleport out, which you could use like house tabs or a teleport to a bank or whatever. Uh, you need a teleport there as well, which I will go over when I show the location, but I will be using the Max Cape because it has a Fishing Guild teleport. Now where we're going to be going is, I'll just show you guys if I can find it right here, is this little uh, cave right here. Now what you can do is teleport to the Fishing Guild, that is the fastest. The next fastest would probably be the Ardoin Farm if you guys have the uh, Ardy Cape. And the next after that would be the Ranging Guild. So uh, if you have like a skills necklace, you can teleport to the Fishing Guild if you don't have 99. And for the Ranging Guild, you can teleport if you have a combat bracelet. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport there now, and I'll show you the route to get there. A lot of people question on whether or not this is the best spot. Like a lot of people will say Lumbridge is the best now that they added like twice as many goblins, but that's not true because the other goblins that Jagex added whenever they brought the free to play uh, worlds is they actually don't drop the champion scroll. So you might be killing more goblins per hour. However, you're not getting more chances at a champion scroll drop per hour. It's actually going to be faster down here. So that is why I do it down here. Uh, not many people know that, I don't think, but yeah, you do now. So you're just going to want to come down here. I did bring some uh, stamina pots in addition to the ranging pots because if you have lower agility and you are start finding yourself running around a lot trying to kill goblins, then you're going to want to use those. But yeah, you just set up your cannon around this area. And let's go ahead and get it set up here. Oh. Yep. Go ahead and start your cannon, pot up, and kill all of them that you can. You can probably try to hide behind some of these things so that it's not, uh, let's see. This is probably your, your best bet is to just hide behind something. Um, you might wipe out these guys in, like, this general area, bef and then, like, there won't be any more around here. So, uh, you might have to run up here and kind of shoot some of these guys as well. Uh, that'll give you a few extra chances, and your cannon will probably just tag those as they respawn. But yeah, it's extremely fast right here. Um, you'll just want to attack all of them around, and I guess just come up here as you need to. But yeah, this is an extremely fast method, and it is going to maximize your chance for a champion scroll per hour. But yeah, anyways, this concludes this short little champion scroll guide video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed the small series as well. I will link the other ones in the description, and you can check those out if you so wish. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Peace out.